It has tortured us for years, randomly selecting terrible videos that are painful to watch, leaving only the most disturbing nightmares and scarring the mind for life. Many have tried to destroy it, but true evil never dies. It is only reborn. It's now time to spin the wheel of the worst. I mean, misfortune. Well, hey, Mike. Macaulay Culkin, what are you doing back? What do you mean? I, I live here now. What? Oh, but that's where Rich sleeps. Did you kick him out? No, he's, he's the big spoon. Well, this is the Wheel of the Worst. It has 12 videos on it, and we spin it three times, and whatever it lands on, we have to watch it. Sounds really neat. It's Wait. not. Oh, no. So, let's talk about what's on the wheel today. Ooh. First up, Shape Up America. Ooh. With the Silver Foxes. Ooh. <laughs> it's the elderly parents of now elderly movie stars. <laughs> yes. Jacqueline Stallone, Sal Pacino, Lori Williams, Robin Williams' mother, and Harry Hoffman, Dustin Hoffman's dad. They all look like they're in Florida right now. Yeah. Yeah. I assume they're all dead now, too. I mean, this video is probably well, a hundred years old. Fingers crossed. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Orgasmic birth. The best kept secret. Uh, aggravated training by the... What? Ag... Aggregate. Aggregate. Aggre Important information ahead. Find out how to stay safe. Safety training for everyone else? No, it's, it's an exclamation point. Everyone else. Everyone else. So, oh, yeah, that's, that's a very, very, very confusing title. And there's a... It's is a that, crash test dummy. I think it's a blowjob crash yeah, test dummy. Yes, it is. It's, it's one of those. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping we land on that one. <laughs> All right, what do we got here next? Oh, this one's easy. Arranging a funeral. What really happens? I assume you arrange a funeral. Yeah, I, I figure casket, flowers. Hilarity. True, true. Now, <laughs> now this next tape, I'm sure some imagery will look very familiar to you. What? I didn't even notice that until you said it, to be honest. I'm talking about the musical notes? Yes, yes, I know, I know. Because you like music. Yes, yes, because I was in the Pete's Underground. Right. Yeah. yeah. What did you think I was talking about, the toilet? <laughs> yeah. So this video is called... <laughs> <laughs> so this video is called, I Gotta Go Potty. Help. Your child become potty poo. What? Oh, potty pro. Potty poo. Uh, with, oh God, and there's a breakthrough music video that makes potty training fun and easy. Uh, up next. Ooh, okay. We have Safe at Home with Lewis Auerbuck, a thinking man's guide to home defense. And this lady is being attacked by a hammer. Gun versus hammer. Yeah, mm. well, I don't know. Gu uh, hammer at long range. Yes. Versus gun. Yeah. Going with hammer. Going with hammer. Gonna just chuck it. He's gonna. Th he's very good at throwing it. Yeah. He, he. He's. He's ready. He's. He's about to throw it. Yep. And mm -hmm. the bullet's gonna hit the hit the head of the hammer as it's flying. Mm -hmm. The thinking man's guide to home defense. Mm -hmm. But. But it's a woman. Yes. So. so. Sexist. Sexist. Oh goodness. Oh boy. Massage with Siri. Mm hmm. Just, you just ask Siri to put it on vibrate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. So it takes on a whole new meaning in uh, 2019, yep. when this tape was made in 1984. It's just some lady named Siri. Who, yeah, but the label's made 1978. Oh, you're right. Yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> and some old man kept that tape till 1984. Yeah. <laughs> Massage with Bill. Uh, happy endings with Siri. Mm. For us, it'll be a sad ending, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's go to the next one. Yeah, yeah, let's get yeah, this, let's, get let's, this let's, going let's get, Yeah, let's get this done. Uh, action game series. Indoor games, hours of fun for rainy days. Featuring 
Sharon Schur action games approved by kids. I'm, I, we're supposed to know who Sharon Shear is. Sharon Shear. I um. Well, it's featuring. That oh, star. Oh, just a feature. Just, just a little feature. Just in one scene. Just a little cameo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I almost fell over. <laughs> Why don't you read this since you're facing the direction of the text? All right, fine. Uh, experience the freedom of the naturalist lifestyle. The good news is that it's only 12 minutes and 12.5 minutes. Oshkosh, Wisconsin. What? That's right near my new home. That's funny, that's only 12 minutes. That's about as long as you could be naked outside in <laughs> yeah. Wisconsin during the whole year. It's pretty cold. It's constantly cold here. Next up, hostage officer survival. From the director of Surviving Edged Weapons. Oh my God. Fuck yeah. Caliber Press. They make top quality entertainment. They made Surviving Edged Weapons, which mm -hmm. was a classic mm -hmm. on Best of the Worst. Uh, oh my God, I hope we land on this. Mm -hmm. Will it live up to Surviving Edged Weapons is the, is the question. I'm ready. I'm ready. I want to learn. Look, look at that action, though. <laughs> I know. Next up. Another, another thing that's been on the wheel before. How to have fun with Billy Bob Teeth. Three thumbs up, five star rating. And lastly, mm -hmm. Carnival in Rio, hosted by Arnold Schwarzenegger. The Arnold Schwarzenegger? Mm -hmm. The? The Arnold Schwarzenegger. Apparently he went down to Rio. He looks really confused. Yeah, he, he, like, he, like he doesn't even know why he's on the box. Yeah. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's so, like, wait, I'm in Rio? Someone's asking him a very complicated question. <laughs> Like, where are you now? Yeah, it really should, like, uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Mac, it's time to spin the wheel. And don't forget, whatever you land on, it's your fault. Okay. Give a spin. <laughs> oh, no. Experience the freedom of naturalist lifestyle. Well, let's, let's go watch it. Yeah. yeah. So we gotta watch it. We gotta watch it. There's usually, for men and women both, I'd say, they're afraid of sexual overtones. Uh, once, once they get out there, they find there are none whatsoever. Once they see the people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no sexuality in it whatsoever. Moving from behind fences onto public beaches, today naturism is experiencing greater understanding and acceptance. It's also not expensive to go to clothes free clubs. It's even free of charge at public beaches. Mom, good news, I got an acting job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be in a video. And it's, it's a sense of freedom that you can't hit in the clothed world. Uh, the clothed the world. Clothed world. <laughs> that's everything. Like, like he's a Morlock. He's he's a world. He's, no, but like that's like somebody's accountant, right? <laughs> Where, and he's just like, I'm trapped in the clothed world. I'm trapped in this <laughs> denim prison. <laughs> Rich, spin the wheel. Uh, oh, oh. Fuck, Rich. Look what you've done. Uh, what? R Rich, you landed on orgasmic birth. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah. No! Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Unbelievable, the sensations that are, like, washing over your whole body. Turn, turn up the volume. Somewhere. Which one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It is possible to have an ecstatic birth. In fact, that's the best natural She's faking it. <laughs> if you can experience it, and your body is sick. <laughs> <laughs> camera. That guy is somewhere else. <laughs> he looks like... Oh, oh. He looks like he was in a war. <laughs> well, look at him. He's, he's like hiding his face. He's shell shocked. Like PTSD, like staring off into the middle distance. Oh, well, she's coming. When does the orgasm part come in? You know, it looks like it feels great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
She seems like she's having a blast. <laughs> Thanks for coming to Milwaukee, guys. Yeah, Jesus, what are you doing to me? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Sean from Bunny Ears here. I'm going to spin the wheel. At oh, my God. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Is that God. rat moving that piece of wood? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that no. Oh my God! Shit. Look out! Oh, no! Oh. Oh, I thought he got stabbed. Yeah, I thought he did the Vulcan neck. I think this is this is how the hostage situation so starts. Oh yeah. 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 I forgot what the video was about. Yeah. I just thought I was watching a thriller. Why is he pointing his gun at his butt? It's the same narrator. The same narrator. Don't suture his neck post. Kevin Smith. Smith? Smith. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody was saying the same thing. You alright, Tom? No, I got brains in my face. Oh, God. Can someone please Dude. get me a napkin? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, what a wet wipe. We can't, that's evidence. <laughs> <laughs> that brain matters. Look, they gave him his gun back already. I'm not leaving until I know that he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he, yeah. <laughs> he's, his okay. brains are all over the place. You know what, Tom? Just, give me that gun back. <laughs> give me that gun back real quick. <laughs> no, no, we'll make sure he's dead. Just give me, give me the gun back. Bad news, buddy. He's dead. <laughs> and also mostly on your shirt. <laughs>
they think, I don't know, something, something's wrong with their brains where they, they think. It's everyone, it looks like everyone's aunts and uncles. Yes, yes, yeah, it's a bunch of gross old people. Well, that's, it's, it's Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Yeah. They all look like that. But you know, not a tan line to be seen. I do have to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's because they're nude all the time. Well, one of the things I love is there's no tan lines. Well, except for the lady that says the, the great thing about being nude all the time is no tan lines, but she says that while having a book over her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she's going to have a horrible tan line. The, yeah, the, yeah, the nudist is, a, is modest. Oh, this video yeah. is full of fucking hypocrites. <laughs> <laughs> Explain. I love to be nude. Every, every time there's like the, the, somebody is here your interview, they've got a fucking shirt on or a book over their breast or something. But also the founder was wearing a shirt. That's that, true. That, that guy's just an asshole. Yeah. 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 The Nature Society was established in 1980 from the Free Beach Movement to promote clothing optional lifestyles, recreation, and living. I'm not wearing pants right now. <laughs> <laughs> he stands up. Yeah. Yes. For me, naturism. Is you fucking fraud! <laughs> <laughs> see, that's the thing is, is when, when, okay, I can see their point. Like, they like being naked. The, the clothes maybe make them feel restricted, and they like to just be naked and swim in the, in the water. and. I believe all the women, all the men I just think are perverts. I don't, is it just me? you just like when the guys are, oh, I just, I love being free in this. I, no. Yeah. You're a I don't want to be a part of the clothed world. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just, no, I don't believe you. I just, I just don't believe you. I didn't see many erections in the video. I don't know. Thank God. They, ha they have reverse Viagra. Well, yeah, and they, they take it before they go to the Going nudist to the nudist beach. beach. They all have innies. You gotta pop that. <laughs> Oh God! It's like everyone's Uncle Daryl. Oh God! <laughs> See, all these, these are the real Wisconsin yeah, yeah. people. They opened it with a ringer. The perverted guys started this as a scam. They thought it was all going to be ladies like that one they clearly hired to do oh, the yeah. intro. Yeah. But instead, they got like the grannies, <laughs> and that's the only reason you don't see erections. <laughs> the resort was open one year. And then they closed after they realized this wasn't working. Yeah. Okay. I know, I was an investor. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> you dork. How does everybody feel about nudist colonies? I mean, I think, like, I already said my opinion. The women are there just to experience the nudist lifestyle. The men are perverts <laughs> yeah. and frauds. I mean, that's that's probably a safe bet for most situations in society. Yeah. So. Okay. Not, not even just nudist sure. colonies. But yeah, yeah, just colonies in general. Just in general. Yeah. If there's a group of people, there's a good chance that all the men are sex perverts. Yeah, yeah. I don't give a shit what consenting adults choose to do when they're free time. Right. Yeah. That's true. But it's also, I just kind of don't really want to be there. No. Like, I, this is not a place I'd like to hang out. No. Oh look, they're not they're not kidnapping me and forcing me to go there. I'm fine. Yeah, no, I'm I agree. That if they wanna all be naked and swim around in a filthy pond <laughs> and get infections in their That was the only genitals. offensive part of the video. <laughs> Which is the, the, the green like, mold, the algae. Yeah, I was waiting for the creature from the black lagoon. <laughs> it's all a scheme to sell more yeast infection medicine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is a magical Here, commercial. Here, ladies, <laughs> scrub in this disgusting pond naked. <laughs> Nailed it, yeah. I wouldn't go in that pond if I was in a scuba suit. <laughs> a right. naked. Yeah, it's pretty Ooh. gross. Every once in a while, you sit on a pubic hair. And maybe it's yours, maybe it's not. But <laughs> it's the freedom. At the very least, the best thing I can say about the video is that it doesn't take place in Gleason, Wisconsin. Oh, uh-huh. Oh, oh, yeah. What is that? Oh, that's even farther north. We discussed that on our previous oh, Best of the Worst. All right. Lots of lots of wolfman looking men there, and, and a bat boy. If the bat boy showed up in this, that would be pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. a lot of naked monster trucks. <laughs> <laughs> what would the naked bat boy's genitals look like? <laughs> <laughs> like bat genitals, I guess. Can somebody Google bat genitals? Oh Jesus! <laughs> 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 what is the technical term for bat feces? Guano. guano. Guano, that's it, yeah. I was gonna make a guano joke. Guano, you can eat that bat feces, right? Guano? Or is it poison? <laughs> it's one of the it's one, one or the other. other. <laughs> when we are more content within ourselves or satisfied with ourselves, then we find Oh, I thought he fell over. <laughs> One thing that we do talk about with videos on Wheel of the Worst is their purpose. Now, is this to recruit nudists? I, just, I assume if you have an, like an inkling to be a nudist, mm -hmm. you aren't going to be convinced by a video. Uh, watching a video is not gonna make me 
go and be a nudist? I think if I was interested in it and I watched this video, I would change my mind. R well, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but what is the like, Look at all these the disgusting point? balls. Yeah, but I think that like I think that was their intention. I don't think they yeah. did it well. What is yeah. the intention? Is, yeah, yeah, I think the yeah. intention I, is consider this. Hey, yeah. you might be interested. And, interested and, cons and consider our company, too. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they advertise like a magazine. Like, yeah. I don't know if that's related to the guy that made the video or mm. that's a separate thing, but... Located in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, the Naturist Society services a growing membership worldwide with quality publications. They have a guy who's, who's fighting a losing battle in Washington who's like, I am, I'm, yes. I'm a pro-nudist. He's a lobbyist. A lo I'm a lobbyist for the nudist colonies. Well, you see him wearing that suit and tie, but you know if they zoomed out, he'd just be completely bottomless. Yeah. You know? yeah. He looks so uncomfortable in the clothed world. Yeah. The clothed world, <laughs> yes. I was... Uh, uh, no. 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 <laughs> no. Let's move on to something much less disturbing uh, and less uncomfortable, which is orgasmic birth. <laughs> Here you go, Rich. Yeah, you have at it. Now that's a segue. Women, uh, they, they have the babies, and they also when they have the babies. Well, oh, oh. oh. don't say that. What, what do you want me to say? It's, it's a fucking video. <laughs> now, now, we never actually got to the part of the video where they explained that. We didn't watch no, this whole thing. No, because we got freaked out by watching <laughs> tiny humans crawl out of women's crotches. Yeah, we made it 20 minutes into this hour and a half long thing. Yeah, well, they're they're promoting, like, you don't go to hospitals because they take care of you and they give you drugs, and you don't want that when you have a, a human life coming out of your body. You want to you wanna have your baby on a nasty deck. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Open your legs. Open your legs, sweetheart. Open your legs. Oh. Oh, I heard you had the baby, and I say, yeah, on the deck, 3 p.m. on a Sunday. <laughs> I guess it may as well happen on a deck. In a scummy, like, <laughs> field, <laughs> covered with dirt, yeah. bent over a box. Yeah. On a ball, on a giant ball. That Your blue exercise ball. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did they all share that blue exercise ball, or did they all have their own? There is something inappropriate, though, about a woman giving birth on a blue ball. <laughs> Uh, uh. I, I would call it actually more poetic than anything. Look at you. <laughs> you get points for effort on that one. <laughs> that is how you have an orgasmic birth because birth is sexual. Safe Looks and like a cult leader. Yeah. Make sure all of my wives have orgasmic births. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, full disclosure, we did not watch the whole video. Yeah. We watched we, enough. Yeah. We, I don't want to say we were disgusted, but we were kind of bored. We, we kind of, it, it wasn't instructional enough. It wasn't, it wasn't incompetently made. It was just a somewhat well-made documentary. Yeah, and to we be did, fair, We didn't actually get to the orgasmic birth part. Well, no, we saw, we saw, well, we saw some. Yeah, we but we didn't get, get into explaining the it. Yeah, the it was more explaining like hippie, you know, and, birth and, at home yeah, stuff. Knowing videos like this, like like the dance of birth, right? Oh, feelings and blah, blah, blah. And they don't really go, okay, step one. Yeah. Here's, because they, they showed the guys and they were like rubbing their like pelvis. Yeah, the, the yeah. sciatica. Yeah, and, and they're like, <laughs> okay. Um, and then, then they started moaning and it's like, like okay, where, are there steps? Yeah, yeah, it's just kind of fly on the wall yeah. showing. They might have, we'll never, we'll never know. We'll never know. We will never know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unless <laughs> someone else wants to, to finish it later. But. Well, I think it was just the combination of these two back to back. It was really kind of a double whammy of yeah, just, you know, yeah. A lot of just strangers nude <laughs> in a room, like, in a, like a sausage factory. Like, I mean, there was so many dudes in that room. Yeah. <laughs> it was the most wonderful thing ever. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, oh, shit. Oh, fuck me. It is Wisconsin. Uh, my new, my new home. <laughs> um, Looked at nude people with Macaulay Culkin. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. Your fucking bucket list. <laughs> Check. I always knew this was going to happen. <laughs> See, Mom, I told you. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was mildly uncomfortable. The best kept secret, as far as I'm concerned about childbearing, is that it is a sexual experience. And it just, it was also, just, it was boring. Like, there wasn't a lot to, like, make fun of. Yeah, we made some jokes early on. There and were then very it was just few like, um, situations. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't a single edged weapon in yeah. sight. The baby came out with a little gun. <laughs> <laughs> Pencil stabbing, like, just 
take the umbilical cord and wrap it around its neck. Tw twins come out, one, one baby's got the other one, like the umbilical cord wrapped around the neck of the other the twin. Listen to me. What's your name, what's your name? I don't know. <laughs> you know his name is. <laughs> okay, TJ. <laughs> Oh, we do get a name, a baby name in this. And I think that oh, was the yeah. point where we were like, <laughs> we're done. Yes. It, was, it was like, yeah, it was like Chapex. It was Chapex. And we were like, all right, we're done. I really felt like I had an ecstatic birth. You know, I was really able to... The, the baby's, baby's name is, is Chapex. Orgasm, orgasm during birth is one thing. Hippie names, we're yeah, done. No, that's it. That was so tasteless. Yeah. They love <laughs> Che Guevara and Capex. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, I love both. I just I get skin shoes. Shapex. Haha, Eureka. Shapex. Shapex. What about Harvey Weinstein? Oh. The Harveys in the world? The worst name is if someone named their baby Winepax. Shea Guevara Winepax. It's named after Harvey Weinstein and Kevin Spacey. <laughs> a Kevin Spacey flick, one of the best ones, obviously. <laughs> OJ Winepax. <laughs> OJ, who was born on a deck, on a blue ball. <laughs> uh, Pooped out I was born, ball. I gave my mommy an orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about an Oedipus complex. <laughs> like hooked up with your own mother on the day of your birth. Yep, yep. Eh, you know, it's better than the alternative. I'm fine. What's, what? An orgasmic birth as opposed to like horrible, hideous pain? What's, what? Well, it's every birth. No. <laughs> I, I'm not a lady, you know, so I don't know. I can't I, comment, yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm, I'm assuming a natural birth is pretty fucking painful sure. without an epidural. And when you're focusing on pushing a, a seven, eight pound thing out mm -hmm. of your crotch, then it's extremely painful. I don't know how you're having an orgasm. But I really can see that though. It's a very spiritual, very s sensual type of, a, and the one word somebody used today was blissful. <laughs> the video did not tell us that. <laughs> I guess as men, we're not in any place to discuss this matter. And we're just gonna leave it at that. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're way out of our league right now. Um, because the video didn't tell us. We're gonna I guess move on. Your male partner rubs your hips and that gets you off while you're squirting your baby out in a nasty deck. <laughs> and then when I met people and talked to people and learned more, it's like this, this can absolutely be done. Hey, Leo. How much does it Who's the redhead? Who are any of those people? <laughs> Uh, we should point out that uh, this next video here, aggregate training for the safety impaired, we did not land on this. We spun the wheel, we didn't land on this, but we said, we're not watching this anymore. Let's put on the crash test dummy video instead. So that worked out much better. So we just watched it. We could have put on silver foxes. We could have, but that's, we'll save that for another day. Frank Stallone's mother exercising. <laughs> I mean, why would you go to Frank Stallone and not Sylvester Stallone? They're both his mother. <laughs> They're both what? She's both <laughs> their mother. She birthed both of them on a nasty porch. <laughs> Aggregate training for the safety impaired. Important information ahead. Mac. All right. So there's this uh, fantastic actor. You got beat up a little. I'm sorry oh, about that, no. but. You know, I'll take care of you today, don't worry about it. This place has a lot more cool stuff to do. He's a little accident prone, but it will be all right. Yeah, I can tell. Hmm. I also see he's a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> he's some kind of sex weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> and he walks around <laughs> with a, um, a, a, a crash chest dummy doll. Like, but he talks to him as if he's a person. Yeah. I'm sure today's gonna be a lot easier on you. We'll, uh, they said we're gonna be lurking with electrical, so, uh -oh. you know, probably not a lot of sun time. Half scale. Yeah, half scale. Yeah. Look at that, yeah. He kind of holds him like he's a ventriloquist dummy for a while, but then it's not. It's no not. expense was spared. Yes, yes. <laughs> and so, Because they didn't have the expenses. <laughs> yes, to, to buy a second one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that becomes clear. Yeah. Well, it's like I didn't see the truck boss down in the yard. Maybe we can spot him from oh up here. Oh, my God. Oh, no. oh, please, do it. Do it, please do, do it. it. Kill, please do it. Kill, do it. Kill, do it. Do it. Do it. Better. Yeah. Oh, yes! Oh! Show it. 
Show it. Oh! oh. It's a puppet! And so uh, um, they keep on going, trying to get jobs at construction sites, and they don't know any safety things. And so, by extension, they, like, we learn. But then Crash Test Dummy um, keeps on getting injured. So, like, you know, he gets hit in the eye, and then he gets bonked on the head. He got his arm ripped off. He gets his stuffing pulled out. And, they're, and they're using a dummy. So we're going to see all sorts of crazy scenarios where that dummy just gets beat up and thrown around, aren't we? No, not oh. at all. Oh. Not at all. Uh, he did have a Mr. Bill voice, which was one of my favorite things. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah, the Mr. Bill voice never gets old. Yeah. Oh, oh no, 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 no! But, I suppose uh, that was a complete coincidence. Like he'd never heard of Mr. No. Bill. No. The whole point in getting a dummy is so you can beat the fuck out of the That's, thing. It's a, it's a crash test dummy. Yeah. What, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? Like, and yeah, but they obviously only had one. They didn't even want to put it in water. Yes. He got his boots wet at one point. <laughs> and it was like the guy almost got fired. Yeah. This pond looks like a good place. Oh no! <laughs> They're gonna swim in the pond. They're not gonna put that puppet in the water, though. No. No, they threw, they a, threw rock. a rock into it. It was the puppet. Oh, oh that's so you. lame. Why even have a puppet? Yeah, I know. So we need to find a different place for shade. You need to move your buddy because there's already slough coming down. Oh, oh. oh god! Oh, my buddy just got oh. nailed there with a big rock. Oh. We didn't see it. It was off camera. Like, you couldn't throw a rock at the puppet? <laughs> Why even have the puppet if you're not gonna fuck it up? Uh, my favorite part, I think, was the singing interludes. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yep. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. With some original songs set to some uh, some old school uh, old school tunes. They were good, those two. Why aren't they wearing their glasses? They'll put out an eye, and that's not a lie. They may be dummies, not asses. Tony and Frank. Yep. That's what I'm calling them. Yep. Yep. That's a Tony and that's a Frank. The, the, the big problem with this safety video is that it's aimed for adults yeah. who work in a fucking mine and, it, and it's framed like a children's safety video. It's for minors, not minors. I, oh, I found it. I found it. You got it. Thank you. It's Thank really you. good. It's really good. That is, that is uh, a, a pun. <laughs> Mike, would you like to define a pun? <laughs> I think it's the, the, the lack of real information and the lack of the puppet actually being damaged in any way. Mm -hmm. What happened was uh, someone at this company, this construction company or this mining company, uh, they walked into the boss's office okay. and they saw his sex puppet. And they realized what was going on. And he's like, no, that's for a, a training video we're making. Oh, no. Oh, OK. Oh, and so they, they, oh. he slapped this video together just as an excuse so yeah. he didn't get caught with Put a sex like, doll. Put his nephew Sam into it. And yeah. he's like, there you go. Here's yeah. a doll. There you go. He, he slapped it together in an afternoon just to justify owning the so sex doll. He was doll. fucking that puppet? He was fucking that puppet. You're, you're coming up with some outlandish backstory, <laughs> like Jay. I'm... You know what? No one saw that except us. So let's just keep that between you and me. I wonder how much a, a used crash test dummy would actually like cost. It's a real, real life thing. Yeah, probably, probably a lot. Probably pretty. Expensive. But, but a used one, like you know, it's it's already kind of been. Mm, that's been through. Yeah. Yeah, and you wouldn't feel bad putting it through a wood chipper. Looking like, you know, yeah. yeah. I always wanted one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah actually, I always did. Yeah. Like one that was like in like a really gruesome crash. I'm like okay. yeah, just kind of yeah, someone with his arms like this. <laughs> <and> like, <laughs> I'd like that. A couple shards of glass in the eye. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. It'd be a conversation starter in my living room. <laughs> you gonna you gonna put a wig on it yeah, and just... and bend it over a giant blue ball? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> put it on a nasty porch. <laughs> nasty porch. Nasty porch. You gotta build a nasty porch first. What what if orgasmic birth was just called nasty porch? <laughs> Have your baby on a nasty porch. <laughs> I'd be more inclined to watch it. You know, yeah. Why go to the hospital when you could go to a nasty porch? <laughs> Mike's right. nasty porches. And a bunch of weird kids and some people come over and look at your baby. That's that's not termite infested wood. That's all natural wood for your birthing porch. <laughs> that's all natural. <laughs> Do you want a kiddie pool to have your baby in on your nasty porch that costs extra? <laughs> it's a birthing pool. Yeah. It just happens to have pictures of Kermit on it. <laughs> <laughs> it <just happens> to... <laughs> hey, you remember the snake? Oh God, yes. Okay, back back to the <laughs> dummy yes. video. Yeah. What? 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 A snake. Why is he happy? Hey, look at this. 
It's the wild, voracious North American timber rattler. Oh, and Jesus. Why is this happening? I'm angry. I'm angry. Hey, what are you guys doing over here? Playing with snakes. Playing with snakes. <laughs> <laughs> what does it look like? It's snakes. <laughs> Taunting my puppet <laughs> friend with <laughs> <Yeah>. snake. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think we're doing? <laughs> Nothing, what are you doing? Randomly a snake comes by, and the, our dumbass protagonist uh, picks it up and just starts fucking with a rattlesnake. Well, we thought it was gonna be about something, like, hey. We thought it'd be about snake safety. <laughs> yeah, no mention. If you hear a rattlesnake, you're supposed to get the fuck away from it. Yes. Yeah, and so there should have been a warning for And it. that guy just picked it up and was, was dangling it yeah, in the dummy's face, and then he warns him about the dangers of candy bars. Yes, <laughs> yes. Need a, a caffeine, you're very good for working out in the sun all day. For your lunch, you need a more nutritious lunch than just a candy bar. And then, uh, yeah, then the foreman comes by and like you think he's gonna say, hey, don't like, watch out, there's snakes here. And he's like, watch out for that, that wall, it's gonna fall on you. And I'm like, yeah. there's nothing to do with any snakes. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Get, get away from that wall, and they get away from the wall. They almost instantly get hit by a truck. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is the video. Between, yeah, stuck, stuck between a wall and a, and a truck place. <laughs> <laughs> this is the video that explains uh, how dangerous truck tires are, which is news <laughs> to me. I didn't, I was not aware of this. And another thing, leaning up against this tire isn't a very good idea. Don't you know that those rims can blow up and get you? I just figured this was, you know, just stay away from the large equipment propaganda. But at the same time, it's funny because he was like just talking about, oh, watch out, these tires can explode just randomly, and then... It is the single best thing they do with the dummy. Come on. What? They can just blow up? Yeah, Everything that's sounds that's so dangerous. dangerous. That's, yeah, that's terrifying. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ! I just said that. Mm -hmm. Oh, my oh, the God. The tire exploded. <laughs> Wait, the tires can just randomly blow up? They throw it once. Yes. Yeah, they just chuck them. Sadly, it is the single best thing they do with the dummy. I think they even open the whole movie with it. I will say when it comes to uh, uh, beating up a dummy, they could have learned a thing or two from you and Mike. I right? was very disappointed. Yeah. I was very disappointed. Yeah. There's yeah. an art to this, and they they, they they had none of it. God! Ow! 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 There's, yeah, I, we should explain. You, you and Mike, you have a long history of, of beating up dummies. No. <laughs> up until Rich was 18, he had, he had a, a childhood friend named Corky that his Nana bought him. And when I met Rich in high school, I said, Rich, we're gonna make videos where you beat up this doll. And it was kind of like a my buddy or a, mm -hmm. it was a human doll. Yeah. Um, and he's like, we have to be very gentle with it. Remember he said, we have to be very gentle with it at first. Oh wow, that changed. Cause my Nana bought it for me. I remember misery. <laughs> and so Rich would gently hit the doll and then I said, no, 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 fuck that doll up. <laughs> so he would throw the doll around and beat up, beat up a doll. How'd that make you feel, like a big man? <laughs> <laughs> you sure showed Nana. <laughs> it, it made me, it made me feel like I'm, I'm now shocked <laughs> that this is, people are actually gonna see this shit that we did when we were in high school just fucking around. That beating you is exhausting. I'm out of breath, I'm smashing your face. Still got the footage? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Can you put, can you put it like a little right here? No, not not right here. He's got a he's got screen. an entire bit of tapes that just labeled Rich Evans blackmail material. <laughs> <laughs> what do you propose that we do? <laughs> so yes, I would like to have seen the dummy get beaten up more. That's that's it. Yeah. So fuck that video. Yeah, so fuck this video. <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it. So we want to want to talk about another movie. Yeah. Yeah. Do we want to talk about guns and hostages and things? Oh yeah. Let's move on to Hostage Officer Survival uh, from the director of Surviving Edged Weapons. Who Caliber is Press is the same company too, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, fun fun fact: we were totally prepared to 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 cheat to watch this video. We were we were. I was thinking in my mind like I'm gonna run out and I'm just gonna physically move the wheel there. We didn't have to. Jack. Jack fucking nailed it. Yeah. God bless Jack. Here he comes. Get, get, oh. Take a bow. Yeah. Yeah. Take a bow. <laughs> nice spinning, bro. <laughs>
<laughs> Way to spin. <laughs> Hostage Officer Survival. Uh, as we said, it's from the makers of Surviving Edged Weapons. Which is in our Hall of Fame. Yes. It One. is the most amazing thing we have ever watched to this day that has not changed. And this is the follow-up. This represents imminent danger for sure. Yes. Uh, it has a lot to live up to. It doesn't. But it's pretty good. Yeah. So we're talking about Endgame? <laughs> hey! Hey! Take that, Kevin Feige. You hear that? You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Dr. Kinsler? Come in. Whoa, Jesus. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> he just backs out. <laughs> Is this is between all you white people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would call this a slow burn. Mm -hmm. Unlike Surviving Edged Weapons, which just like comes right out of the gate with uh, people getting stabbed in the face and cavemen. Cavemen. Swords. I mean, it's very ambitious. It's very exciting. Uh, this one takes its time. It, try it builds up to the excitement. It's the same production value. Yes, and that's why we were not bored. Even though nothing exciting was happening, we were still like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Are you working tonight, right, Murray? Yep. All right. Well, I'll see, I'll see you, you guys later. Night. Okay. All right. Yeah. Cave. Yeah. Bullseye. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I nailed that line. <laughs> Don't improv, Joanna. <laughs> <laughs> And instead of just like blowing the water, like this is what happens in this way, this this story. No, it's like here's the setup, and oh, what's going on over here? Oh, here's another another situation is developing here, but we're gonna go away from that for a moment. And this it's other a multi-story drama. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, taking place like in a prison, and there's a stalker. It's like Infinity a... War. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like Infinity War. God damn right I'm angry. I'm really upset. <laughs> I'm pissed off. You know why I'm so angry? I'll tell you why I'm angry. Synonyms, that's why. They mean the same thing. <laughs> so yeah, we, we, we meet all of our characters and then we spend a lot of time cutting back and forth between all of them. And then they wrap that up and it just goes off the rails. Use your peripheral vision to gauge when your abductor relaxes I'm in control. and becomes I'm gonna distracted. You, just tell me where you want to go. I'm going to tell you where, I, where we're going to go. I'm in control here. We're going to go up here. We're going to take a left. And don't even think about it. Moving any of these buttons or working any of these. Uh... Am I taking him hostage? <laughs> well, the only returning character we have in this is the narrator. Yes. He comes back. But are you familiar with the Mexican Sacatripe, used for gutting sheep and other warm-blooded animals? His voice is great, Thank God. smoky and rich. I think know? that's what kept us interested because yeah, like we said, it doesn't start off the most exciting, but that guy's voice, you're like, I want to listen to whatever he has to he's, say. He's right up there with the legend Peter Thomas. The medical examiner discovered that David had been shot with a small caliber bullet. And tests showed his body had been soaked with gasoline before the fire. Here's, here's the problem with this. For one, surviving edge weapons, lots of like, they throw lots of like legit information. Like this is what you do, here are the acronyms, and this is how you handle yeah. the situation. And plus, stabbings. <laughs> lots of stabbings. Just lots and lots of fun stabbings. Nowhere near as exciting as this. Was that guy dead, man? He was alive when I last saw him, man. I think he's gonna make it. Do better, man. That was self-defense, man. He's going to the hospital. We'll take care of him. Yeah, that wasn't my fault, man. That's all right. I mean, they talk about, like, they, it is information when they talk about how to negotiate with people when someone's holding a gun to you your ass at one point. It takes them like 30 minutes before they get to it though. Yeah, yeah it I takes mean, they a long time. Of, yeah, yeah, they set it all up. But then then we start getting into this the, this arming kind of like area, which- That's when it, started, it gets fun. That's when it started getting fun. That's when it started making that turn. Hello? Oh shit. Oh, I dropped the phone. Oh! 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 Johnny, oh! come oh! Daddy, John! Daddy, John! <laughs> oh, the old phone, phone drop. Eh? And then we get the shootings. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and that's what you pay for your ticket yeah. for. And, and then when it's when it starts getting amazing. That's, <laughs> that's, that's when you get cops just blown away, criminal scum left and right. <laughs> that's when it turns into Death Wish. <laughs> what do you want? I'll kill you. <laughs> 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 Well, I think they tried to be like more cinematic, like with a storytelling. That's yeah. what it seems like, you know, yeah. And it hooked us. We were into yeah, it. Yeah, no, we were into it. Like, yeah, there was the, the music, the drama, the the the, the narrator, the whole works. It's mainly the narrator. They, yeah. they do a ama an amazing job, mm -hmm. Caliber Press, in creating a cinematic experience. Yes, tension. Why don't they make movies? Or didn't they? I, I doubt they're a thing anymore. No, they still exist. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. they, they are still movie around. Movie just about act safety. <laughs> <laughs> there is that X throwing bar on the east side. Ooh, we can make a movie about that. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's very similar in tone. I think I think you want that instant gratification of a knife attack. When yes, a yes, I want that instant gratification. <laughs> of a, knife attack. a hostage yes. situation is more drawn out. <laughs> and it's more emotional. Because yeah. remember TT. Referring to the captor by name helps validate his existence. It also focuses on him as a person and builds on the connection between the two of you. TJ, TJ, what's going on? TJ oh, didn't TJ. like to clean his house. <laughs> and his, He's very pissed off about the ranch dressing. And his, he left <laughs> his ranch dressing out overnight. <laughs> God damn it, he's got to get new ranch dressing. Most of all, you want to get him thinking of this as a shared predicament. Oh, as you TJ should ability. put that ranch in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> it's unopened, it's unopened. Oh, it's unopened. It's okay. And his wife is cheating on him. You know what I don't know is going on? Yeah, tell this me what's bitch, going on. I brought a friend home the other day and uh -huh. introduced him to her, and next thing I know, they were in bed together. That's what's going on. But there's more drama. There's more individual uh, yes. circumstances. There's yes. more of a buildup. We yes. see all these different characters and their situation. And then... Surviving Edge Weapons was like, we got a warrant for your arrest. You don't have a samurai sword in there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sam, 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 Sam. And then just blast them. And they start shooting through the door. We get the drunkard on the porch. Not a nasty porch. It's just a normal porch. No, no birthing. Thing. There's no, no birthing. Thing. If they, birthing if they had porch. zoomed out and there's just like right next to him, like a woman laying over a wall. <laughs> oh, oh, what's going on in that porch is the opposite of birth. <laughs> like, <Yes>. Literally. <laughs> yep. In any possible way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Brain. Oh. <laughs> oh. His brains splatter all over our cop's head. <laughs> that's that's the turning point for the video where we're like, all right, yes, now I'm on board. All right, Caliber Press, you've you've done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good moment. You've brought back your horrific violence that we love so much. And then uh, Chicken Skin got stabbed in the eye with a pencil. Yes, oh. yeah, that was pretty great. I mean, I, that that was that was the high point. <laughs> Guess what? I'm gonna graduate! <laughs> Looking right at you. Ah! Was it like a monster mask? Yes. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it comes 65 minutes almost exactly into it. So if you want to go back and watch it, okay. I did I did take the timestamp in right, my head. Right. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. the part when Hulk has lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the room before that. Is that the cop that's that has Frankenstein in the passenger yes. yes. seat? It yeah. just suddenly cuts to a man who has a head that's two times the size of <laughs> yes. a normal head, and he has no hair on his body, yeah. and he looks like a zombie. And he's like, ah, I got your car. <laughs> and the cop's like, ah, oh, pencil to the eye. And the car, the car <laughs> flies off a cliff. And it gets. You missed it, Jim. <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> was Tunes driving the car? <laughs> Well, that's that's the thing is like we spend so much time with all these different little set pieces. We have the uh, the hospital in the uh, 
uh, in the prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have that. We've the got, stairwell in the prison. Yeah, we got the stair, the stairwell hostage taker. All these little scenarios. The bathroom at the courthouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Guys but they set all these, they set all these up, and then they kind of pay them off, and then they just start cutting to shit. Yeah, and then and you're like, "What is happening. this? Where are we now?" Here's my assumption: the person who commissioned this film, the police department that commissioned this, said, "Here are the scenarios we want to see professional training videos made of," and they did those. Those are all the slow, boring ones. <laughs> and then Kelly and then they, and then they had money left over, and they were bored, and they said, "Fuck it, yeah. Frankenstein." <laughs> <laughs> If you have Frankenstein in your squad car, well, uh, and it was the same cop too. Oh yeah, that one cop. He just keeps getting his, his uh, squad car got commandeered by a, a, a criminal like five times. <laughs> Frankenstein, the mummy, <laughs> Dracula. We got money left over. Just stop buying squibs. Yeah. Uh, one of the things I learned: it's not about your gun; it's about your. Secondary gun. Yes. Second gun. Yes. Other officers Velcro their shirts for fast access to backup holsters attached to their vest carrier. <laughs> oh. Yeah! Yeah! Take that, squeaky. It's, it's all about your hidden gun. That you have under your breakaway stripper pants. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah it's always good to have a, a bunch of secondary guns. Also, ladies, if you're jogging, you should totally have a gun right between your legs. Yeah. Just boom. Take off your fucking fanny pack, Grandma! I know you have a gun! What? Please don't point that gun at me. I'm just gonna put my hands in my fanny pack. You have, to, you have to fake out with the fanny pack. Yes. He's gonna want to take the fanny pack. All right, you know, and then we even joked. He was gonna just like, oh, watch, you're gonna pull a gun out of her vagina. And just, bam, there it is. Look at it. That's the kind of quality I expect from Caliber yeah. Press. Mm -hmm. Oh, take the clothes off. Oh, my oh God. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Called it! Called it! Fake out fanny pack filled with the weight of a gun, <laughs> but jog with a real gun in your undies. No, my God. That was her secondary gun. There was also a fucking gun in that fanny pack. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And one wedge between the cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> no, under, under the, uh, like, the bra under, under her breast, she's got like a gun wedged in there. Oh, okay. One gun under each breast, mm -hmm. one yeah. in the cheeks. She's got five guns. Five guns. <laughs> Fanny pack, no. She jogs in a very dangerous area. Yeah. She, jo she jogs in a. <laughs> she should maybe join a gym. A Robert Rodriguez movie. Yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, just, she jogged into the wrong movie. It's the same path El Chapo uses to jog. <laughs> And that, when the when the video goes off the rails, that's also when they start giving the advice that seems less uh, realistic, mm -hmm. like uh, cough. Consider faking a cough or a sneeze as an excuse to move in. <laughs> <laughs> now wait a minute. Well, you do one of those. Hey, look over there. <laughs> <laughs> this one's called the Daffy Duck approach. Which officer to pivot and sweep to his left. If you're being chased, just draw a tunnel on the side of a building. <laughs> if you're in a hostage situation, do a John Woo dive. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> take it easy. All right, I'm going to take it out. Real Where slow. distance precludes right, physical shot, tactics off, right? and words alone don't take work, your only viable option may be. Oh! Whoa! What I miss? That, that seemed to be the gist of the video, was like four or five different ways when you have a gun to you. Realistic ways. Yeah. yeah. And Look, all of them are like, don't do it. <laughs> because literally the, uh, a split second is all it needs to hit that trigger. Boom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's faster than a human being could move. Mm -hmm. And it was just saying like, uh, Only go it. like this and grab the guy and, and hold go the like hammer. this and put your thumb, yeah, behind the hammer. Mm -hmm. so. Clamp your hand over the slide and get your finger behind the hammer. Grab with both hands and strip the gun away. All of it's bad. Just wait for the sniper. Just wait for, <laughs> Just the, wait for the That's the real advice. Yeah, yeah, because that turned out really well for the officer. The, the more interesting part was like, like, like uh, communicating with the person. They're like, ask them their name. Yeah. Hey, your name's TJ. My name's TJ. My name's Mike. TJ, my name is Mike. You like ranch dressing. You like I ranch, like ranch uh, dressing. You should put your ranch dressing in the freezer after you open it, <laughs> or the fridge. Um, <laughs> you should probably clean your house up a little too. <laughs> <laughs> No, you'll you'll attract wife's... women that won't cheat on you that way. <laughs> you wonder your wife's cheating on you. Your house is a fucking dump. <laughs> you clean up your garbage, TJ. Um, yeah, you know. 
you'll find you can adapt them spontaneously. Oh, you don't stand a chance, Jack. Grandma. Fuck you, lunch lady. <laughs> <laughs> I was just giving you hard candy. <laughs> I feel good. Less naked people. Less naked strangers. No naked people? Yeah. Can you imagine a hostage situation in a nudist colony? It would be weird. That would be weird. Where are you going to put your secondary gun? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I think we all know. I think we know, yeah, yeah. In your butt. Your butt. 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 Your butthole. Yeah. You go to do the spectacular dive and you grab for your gun, you're like, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have done all these kegels. <laughs> <laughs> then you then you just you just instead of you know the spectacular gun belt, you just land in the dirty pond. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. You do a uh, John Poo dive. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> yep. Nailed it. Uh -huh. Well this is what we got to work with. Um yeah, right. Uh, Mike, best of the worst? I mean, nothing beats Caliber Press. They're the gold standard. Yes. Uh, they haven't let us down yet. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, like, I, I have a, a particular affinity towards the, the puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> what? It was terrible. Well, its arm ripped off, and it flew down a conveyor belt. <laughs> <laughs> it had potential. Yes. Women orgasm, asgasming? Uh, Asgard? What? <laughs> Back to Marvel. Women Asgasms, it's an entirely different video. <laughs> <laughs> Women I don't want to know what that means. <laughs> Women giving birth on a nasty porch. That's, 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 on a that's orgasmic shits. That's <laughs> Asgasms? <laughs> is that a word? No. Oh. I'm saying that would be an entirely different video. You just made that up? An asgasm. Well, you, you, you said it. My pick for best of the worst is the the hostage taking video. I think what you meant to say is everything was shit except for this. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I just summed up what you said. No, he sure, was being polite about yeah. it though. Oh, okay. Yeah. You don't want to hurt the feelings of the people that made orgasmic birth. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I wholeheartedly agree. Like no. that is just just the production value and you know, lots of guns. And Tension, the drama. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, you know, and just and Frankenstein getting stabbed in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> just I can't it. wait to see it someday. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hostage officer survival, it's pretty good. But, I mean, there's a lot of valuable safety information <laughs> in aggregate training for the safety impaired. Like drinking water. And, and you know, how, many, how often are you gonna find yourself in a hostage situation anyway? I, I think that this video, it just has more practical information okay, in okay. it. Like drinking water in the desert? Drinking yeah. water, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm giving it to are, are you, aggregate. Are you, are you planning on working at a mine anytime soon? <laughs> don't, don't, like, don't fall off a conveyor belt into a pile of rocks? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I want to smash fucking safety video. Well, well, I haven't picked mine yet. Uh, best of the worst. Can you guess what it might be? Uh, orgasmic, orgasmic birth. birth. <laughs> yeah. Well, well no, yeah. yeah. Knowing you, it's this nasty porch. <laughs> uh, no, no, it's it's surviving edged weapons part two. Yeah. Um, I want to destroy all three of these. I thought they were all worthless. Ooh, I thought an, they were and, all and that's worthless. That's an interesting proposition, Jay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, today we're gonna break with tradition, and instead of destroying a tape. We are going to correct a past mistake and put creating Rem Lazar in the Hall of Fame. Hold it right there, mister. What? It's me, Mushu, your old friend. I'm the guardian of the best of the worst Hall of Fame shelf. All decisions are passed through me. Oh, 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 you think so? Well, I'm rich motherfucking Evans, cocksucker. And I say we put creating Rem Lazar on the shelf. What are you going to do about it? I say we settle this the old-fashioned way. A fight to the death. And let's take it back to where it all started. In space! Okay, now here are the rules. Hey, what are you doing? Out of my face! Oh, I think you broke my arm. I, I can't feel my legs. Ah, I just want to talk. Oh, oh no. Ow. Ow. What are you doing? Stop it.
Okay, switch. Switch. Switch.